In this video, I'll describe what differential equations are and how to interpret them. We'll start by thinking about the growth of bacteria. Suppose you start off with a bacterium, and then it reproduces, and then each of these reproduce, and each of those reproduce, and each of those reproduce, and again, and again, and again. In this scenario, the number of bacteria grows more rapidly when there are more bacteria present. We'll write b of t to represent the number of bacteria t days after they are introduced into the environment. Let's think about some values of b and how quickly b is growing. And let's keep in mind that b prime is the rate of change of the number of bacteria and is measured in units of bacteria per hour. So, when there is just one bacterium, the number of bacteria is growing at a very small rate. The next hour, when there are two bacteria, then the number of bacteria is growing at a slightly larger rate. And when there are four bacteria, the number is growing at an even larger rate. And as the number of bacteria increases, so does the rate at which this number grows. In other words, the rate at which the number of bacteria is growing is proportional to the number of bacteria. And the way in which we write this is b prime is equal to some number k times b. And your first instinct might be that k is equal to 2 because the numbers are doubling. Or you might think that k is equal to 1 because the number of bacteria we add each hour is equal to the number that are already present. This is all very reasonable, but it turns out that the number is actually the natural log of 2, which is equal to 0 0.693. This is an example of a differential equation. In general, a differential equation is of the form y prime, a rate of change, is equal to some stuff where the stuff can involve y, x, and or constants. In the example above, and most of the examples we'll see in this course, we'll have differential equations of the form some stuff times y plus some other stuff, where again the stuff involves y, x, and or constants. This type of differential equation is technically called a linear first order ordinary differential equation. And in general, a differential equation models a situation where the rate of change of a function depends on the value of the function. So in the bacteria example, the rate of change of the number of bacteria depends on the number of bacteria present at a given number of hours. Let's look at another example. In single photon emission computed tomography, patients are injected with a radioactive isotope of iodine. When it decays, it emits radiation, which is used to visualize structures within the body. The iodine has a half-life of 13.2 hours. This means that half of the iodine that is left in the body decays in 13.2 hours. For example, if we injected a patient with 100 grams of iodine, after 13.2 hours had passed, there would only be 50 grams left in their body. After 26.4 hours had passed, that is, another 13.2 hours, there would be half of the 50 grams left. And after 39.6 hours, that is, another 13.2 hours, there would be half of the 25 grams left. We'll write I of t to represent the grams of iodine left t hours after the injection. And let's think about how the rate of decay is related to the amount of iodine left. Over the first 13.2 hour interval, we lose 50 grams of iodine. Then, over the next 13.2 hour interval, we lose 25 grams of iodine. And over the third 13.2 hour interval, we lose 12.5 grams. So as the amount of iodine decreases, the rate also decreases. This is a proportional relationship between the amount of iodine and the rate of decay. So if I prime is the rate at which the amount of iodine is decreasing, then this rate is directly proportional to the amount of iodine left. Since the rate is decreasing, we'll specify this with a negative sign. And it turns out that the constant of proportionality, 
is equal to the natural log of 2 divided by the half-life. And the units for this rate of change are in grams per hour. And like the previous example, this differential equation models a scenario where the rate of change of a function depends on the value of the function. Now, to summarize what we've seen, a differential equation models a situation where the rate of change of a function depends on the value of the function. The differential equations we've been looking at are all of the form y prime equals some stuff times y plus some other stuff. For example, in the differential equation for the rate of bacteria growth, we multiplied the function by 0 0.693 and added 0. In the differential equation for the rate of iodine decay, we multiplied the function by negative natural log of 2 divided by 13.2 and added 0. In upcoming videos, we'll look at how to create these differential equations in more detail.